welcome to Miss Rusky's Business Apps in a Snap. We are using Pearson's Learning Microsoft Office 2010 book, focusing on Word, Chapter 1, Lesson 3, Project 5, on page 104. So let's get started. Okay, when you open up your data file, which is W Project 5, you are going to go to the File tab, and you're going to choose Options, and then you're going to choose Advanced, and one of the topics that we'll be learning today is understanding the difference between using insert and over type mode. You're used to insert mode because what happens is when you go to type something, I'll show you, when you go to type something, anything that you would go to type, notice how the text moves to the right with it. But with over type mode, it's actually going to type over the text and delete whatever's next to it. And you'll see that in a second. We'll demonstrate it. Okay, so. We're also going to go down to the status bar, and we're going to right click and choose the option for us to be able to use the over type, and we're going to hit escape to close out of that shortcut menu. Now, it gets a little confusing with this particular project, you just want to be careful. They are reinforcing the concepts of undo and redo, so you need to keep referencing figure 3-1 and making sure that you're not getting confused about what they're asking you to do. So for the first line, it asks us to take that, we're on number... Eight, and we're going to delete it and then it asks us to undo what we just did so if we undo it it means it's going to put the line back on there okay now in number nine it's saying hey wait a minute actually yes we want you to redo it so you're going to redo it and when you redo it it actually deletes it okay now we're going to go to number 10 and it, we're going to select where it says new winter tours in the second line and we're going to type two cross country ski adventures okay and that'll replace that selection there now we're also going to replace where it says CO the abbreviation for Colorado and we're going to type that out in full and it also asks us to follow it with two hyphens and today's date so I'm going to do two hyphens and it'll look like they're separated at the moment but once I type my date Notice it makes it consistent with what you saw there before. If you want to make it simple on yourself, you can hit enter. Fill in the date right there like that. Okay, now we're going to press insert to make overtype mode active. All right, so I press that. It's located in the middle of the keyboard. And we're going to position the insertion point to the left of the E in exciting opportunities. So now what we normally are used to is not going to happen anymore. We're going to actually type over that text to the right. So we're going to write two amazing cross-country ski adventures. Okay, so we just typed over it. And now we're going to take that off so we don't want to get confused in case that happens again. We want to make sure we take that off because we don't need it right now. So we're going to click it again or hit the hit the key again and now we're going to be on number 15 it says apply the title style to the first line okay so you know where that is that's from the previous lesson and you'll go up here you're going to choose the title option and now from there you're going to position the insertion point in the second line of the press release which is right here and you're going to choose the repeat style option and notice it puts it there but hey wait a minute in number 17 it says okay undo that we actually don't want that right there and then in number 18, we're going to apply the subtitle style to the second line. So you'll select that right here. And then we're going to choose subtitle. Okay, notice it's starting to come together and look a little bit more like the figure 3-1 that you see there. Now we're going to select the text Denver, Colorado and apply the intense emphasis, which is right there. And select today's date and click the repeat button so that today's date is right here and we're going to click the repeat button notice what happens okay and we're going to click the arrow on the undo button to display the undo menu notice it has a little arrow right here underneath pointing down and we're going to click the second action in the list which says style okay let's see what happens there and then we're going to pick this guy right here so notice it takes those off. Okay, they're undone. Then we're going to select the text Denver, Colorado. Okay, and we are going to apply the emphasis style. And then we're also going to click right here by selecting today's date 
and we are going to do the same repeat thing. So that will both, both Denver, Colorado and the date will have the emphasis style. Move the insertion point to the end of the document. So an easy, fast way to do that. I know you all know this. Control E N D takes us to the very bottom real fast. Hit enter and you're going to type your first and your last name. Okay. And then you're going to go back to word options and you're going to remove the check mark from where you originally placed it. And you're going to right click the status bar and you're going to uncheck the overtype option. Close the document, save changes, and exit Word. Thanks a lot.